the Joe Rogan experience. When you go back and, you know, I feel like if you think about, like, your, your times playing football, like, your great times versus your great wins in, in fighting, like, what, do you, what is more satisfying to you? There's no drug, there's no anything that you could do to replica- replicate the emotions and feelings after knocking a motherfucker out. And I'm not, like, talking about, like, te- like getting on top and hitting him till the ref pulls you off. Like, one punch, boom, he's, you know, jello on the ground. Like, you might have killed that guy. There's no better feeling. And I've won, like, uh, when I played football, we went playing the national championship and had a bitty, pretty big play at the end of the game that kind of sealed it. But even that, the last game of my college career doesn't equate to knocking out Hafe on the tall uh, really? the way I did. It just doesn't. It's one-on-one. It's you versus me. And I just did that to you. It's just, and I've, you know, done That's quite fast. a few drugs. I've, you know, <laughs> had quite a few big moments. Yeah. Uh, other side of the coin, there's no fucking lower feeling than getting your ass whooped uh, in front of, you know, not only the crowd, but the people on TV. And, uh, you know, so, but I'll take it, dude. I'll fucking run the risk of that versus the high you get after a knockout or a win. Uh, and you know any day do you remember the feeling of like your first loss where you're like oh geez this is different yeah because uh, my first loss was to uh machita and i feel like i beat machita i just so happened to fight him in brazil and i think that he thinks that he lost because you know before they read the scorecards his head's all low and he's you know yeah. Kind of pouting and he's like, oh, winner by split decision. And Machida, and all of a sudden, he's like, wow. But that was not a loss, like a, you know, that was like not like Tiago Santos' loss. It wasn't, you know. Yeah. Um, I think. Because uh, you could have won that fight. You yeah. Got, I remember that fight. You could have won that fight. I had his back, you know, I, you know. Yeah, I was in that fight, but um, I kind of liked. Or told myself, anyways, that I kind of liked pushing myself. Like I like the challenge, you know. And uh, you know, two fights later, you know, he's fucking fighting for the championship. I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and to be honest, like I think that's kind of the fight that put me on the map. Even though it was a loss, you know, I think the people liked like these two big motherfuckers just stood in the middle and just swung on each other till one yeah. couldn't anymore. And you know, from the fans' perspective, I think they really liked that. So yeah, it was, it was definitely. Good. In bad, a big fight, but but it's not like a fight, like a serious loss. Yeah, uh, Roundtree was pretty devastating, um, just cause like there's something about that day where I was just like, dude, I don't want to fight. I do yeah. not want to fuck a fight. I'm gonna do it anyways, but don't really want to be here right now. What do you think that is? I have no idea. Because, I mean, all the preparation, all the training. Dude, there's some fights. Like, when I made my debut, I had zero nerves. And as soon as my feet touched the canvas and I felt, like, how grippy it is, I was like, dude, he's dead. This motherfucker is out of here. I know he's going to – I know I'm going to win. But that Roundtree fight in particular, I was—I remember walking to the cage like, <sighs> maybe someone puts a banana peel out here and that fucking <laughs> slip. Like, fuck, dude, I don't. Can we do this tomorrow? Is again? that the only time you've ever felt like that? To that extreme, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think that was? I don't know. And I was really confident going into that fight because I didn't think that he could wrestle. I was watching film. I was like, dude, he's never, like, just flat. Like, he's dropped a lot of people, but that's he just dropped them. Like, he never, like, knocked them unconscious. I was like, all right, even if I do eat one, I'll fucking still be alive and be able to fight and shit. But I don't know, dude. I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, and I was like, fuck. That's what you were talking about earlier when you're talking about Khabib and Usman and these guys that like every single time they're mentally there. Yeah, and that's probably one of the hardest parts of the sport. Got to be. And there's other fights where like I'm gonna get in this dude's ass and it's gonna be hell for him. So I don't know what that is. Um, Have you I ever gone to I... a sports psychologist? <sighs> yeah, they all say different shit, and you know. One guy said, just be happy to be here. And I'm just like, that's preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just, no, dude. I used to make fun of people. Like, oh, dude, he's just happy to be here. He's for sure finna get right. his ass beat or whatever. Or don't worry about the outcome. It's like, no, dude, I am worried about the fucking outcome because that's half my money. You right. know, you lose a fight, I could get cut. Yes, yeah, the outcome absolutely matters. Stop a, talking to me.